Oops, I forgot that. Get sure get a lot done when I put my head down. So I have the easy loader put back together. And by the way of the forecast, it looks like well, it could happen any time, but this week is cool enough and then it looks like it's cooling off further as we look out in the 14 day forecast. So that buys me at least three weeks of time. And I hope I get that three weeks because I have a lot of work to do. But I also hope that after that three weeks, we can get these bees out. So we'll just, I mean, that's out of my control. The only thing I can do is just to keep busy. But she's ready to go at the moment's notice. My other truck is has the frame stretched and we just have to lengthen the back a little bit to fit this deck. So I've been working away at building this new deck. I thought what not a better work platform than the original B deck here gets it off the ground, gets me, allows me to build the damn thing while the other damn thing is being built. And I'm chipping away at it. The plans, so when I worked the easy loader, the way I built this deck is I built with the joist right on the chassis. These trucks have a cha strict chassis on it. So it allows me to build the deck a little bit lower so then I can reach a lot easier onto the deck as I'm working on and off the truck. If I run it a little bit higher, then it's just that much more awkward as I'm trying to load the truck with that easy loader. So I'm building this deck the same way. And as the plans show me, I'm working on 16 inch joists. And actually the plans called for 24, but I thought that was too much. So I, I shorted it down to 16 inches and I ran a quarter inch plate on the bottom all the way along just to keep everything straight and true and to take the flex out of the whole, you know, assembly. And with all my weld sequence, I've been, been able to keep this thing perfectly straight. Paid a lot of attention to welding tacking and then just making sure I weld so the thing doesn't end up like a you know like a bow except for the front here I screwed up I welded wrong so I had to do some grinding and just to pull things straight and then re-weld things up so I'll just take the grinder to that to clean it up a little bit but she's coming together so I built this deck a little bit differently than the old one. This one I have this uh, strap rail on the outside and I never use the damn thing. So I figured why not just build the deck right to the edge. So the wood will be, uh, I'll just move this thing. I use this to keep things straight, but Yeah, I think you get the idea. So the deck will come right out to the end plate. And then this is the side. And this is actually where I'm going to strap onto. This is only quarter inch plate here. What I've figured, actually I've added this onto the plans, is I have my strap plate underneath the deck. So if the guys get lazy, you can just strap like that. But the way this is designed, if the strap will go underneath. Go underneath like that. Click into there. And then up like this. So in the long haul, that will not be going anywhere. And then to undo it. We'll just reach underneath, undo it, and pull it through. 
Or, I mean, if we get lazy, we just hitch it on like that and give her, you know. So that should work. That should work really well. So I have this as 3 8 because it's going to be taking some torque. And I have the side plate on. Everything is straight and true. There's no wows anywhere. I'm not going to show too close because my welds are, they're farmer welds. But that is straight. What can I say? Nothing like what a little bit of patience will do for a guy. Straight lines. And I even squared this thing off so it's within a sixteenth of an inch. It should fit. So once I get the railing on the side, on the other side, I'm going to work on the back. And with our plasma cutter CNC machine, we're going to cut out a plate that fits onto the back so I can put my uh, tail lights and I'm going to put a ladder on the back. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do the same as this one here, kind of old school. I use this all the time. So I'm considering, you know, within the plate that we build, but I have this step at the bottom. The only problem with this step is I drag it going in and out of approaches all the time because of my long wheelbase. And the new truck's gonna be the same. So I'm not sure what to do, but I don't have to decide that right now anyways. That is a long enough day. I think I'm gonna do just a few more welds here, get the strap plate put on and then head in for a beer. <laughs> 